Hey everyone, thanks for joining in. So for this video today, I will try and help you choose your first digital camera. So we'll discuss a couple of very important questions to answer before you buy your camera. And uh, I will tell you which features you should be on the lookout for when choosing the camera. And at the end, I will give you my three camera recommendations to consider. So uh, stay till the end and let's get started. So before we begin, I just want to quickly mention that uh, for this video is made for those of you who want to pursue photography slash videography and eventually become a pro in that field. So uh, for the sake of this video, I will not be talking about point and shoot cameras, action cameras or camera phones. So just keep that in mind. So the first very important thing to ask yourself and to answer is uh, what exactly is the main purpose of your future camera? Because the answer to this question actually dictates which features uh, your camera should have. So, for example, if you're going to pursue photography, then uh, there's no need for your camera to shoot 4K. Uh, but if you just want to maybe combine video and uh, photography, so uh, we'll go with the camera with 4K. Uh, but you get the point. Uh, you just uh, you will spend uh, some extra unnecessary money on the features that you don't really need. So the second very important thing is that. Uh, for the first time, and in the beginning at least, you'll have to stick only to one brand of camera bodies, lenses, and overall camera equipment. Uh, because, for example, if you choose Canon body, and then you decide that Sony lenses are better. Uh, so you will have to spend extra money on lens adapters, uh, which is really not ideal. So extra spendings. Uh, there you go. Uh, those are two very, two very important questions to consider. And now I will tell you some features that you should be looking for in uh, your camera. So now let's talk about the features of your future camera. So if you chose photography as the main purpose of your camera, uh, these are the features that you should be on the lookout for. The first one is APS-C sensor, uh, because buying full-frame camera as your first camera is kind of unnecessary. Uh, full-frame cameras are way more expensive than the APS-C ones, and uh, there is not that much of a difference actually between for a beginner uh, between full-frame and APS-C sensors. APS-C sensors do perform slightly worse in uh, low light, and uh, images taken with full-frame sensor are a tad bit sharper. So that's the difference uh, that only like professionals can uh, detect. And uh, for you, as a beginner, I think those differences are totally negligible. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so buy an APS-C sensor, just don't bother with the full frame, at least for the beginning. Uh, second feature is uh, manual mode. So uh, if you are going to become a professional, you will have to know everything about aperture, ISO and f-stop. Uh, and only in manual mode you can uh, do with those settings just whatever you like. You can uh, dial in whatever you want and just see what happens. So manual mode allows you to change everything independently. So that's very important for a photographer. So the next important feature is your camera should be able to shoot raw photos. So raw photos are really cool for post-production where you can adjust like any anything uh, within this photo in Lightroom or without any quality loss. Uh, and again, as a beginner, you might and probably will make some mistakes like uh, wrong white balance, exposure compensation, and you will be able to fix it uh, just with one click of a mouse in uh, Lightroom when shooting RAW. So that's a huge benefit for post-production. Uh, the final thing is uh, kind of my opinion. Uh, it's uh, buying a sensor of 16 megapixels and higher. Uh, so again, I think that any camera on the market today has uh, at least 16 megapixels of resolution. So I think you're pretty in the clear here. Uh, but the thing I want to say is that, of course, the more pixels, the better. But uh, you just don't need to spend extra money on like um, 40 megapixels, like even 24 megapixels might be an overkill for you. Uh, so stick with 16 or just slightly above and you will be that's the golden place to start So if you chose video is the main purpose of your camera video slash vlogs uh, As the main purpose of your camera. These are the features that you should be on the lookout for when choosing your future camera uh, The first one is uh, your camera should be able to record video in at least 1080p at 24 frames per second So 1080p is kind of a minimum nowadays uh, because uh, anything below 1080 will not be really good like on mobile device and even on a pc screen 
uh, so just keep that in mind that 1080p at 24 frames per second is kind of minimum if your camera is able to shoot 4k uh, so even better okay that will do but remember that 1080 is a minimum uh, the second uh, feature uh, important feature is a uh, good autofocus because autofocus for video is kind of mandatory uh, you only want to focus manually only in some occasions on the most part you will be 100% using autofocus and uh, for example if you uh, are shooting a vlog and uh, you are relying completely on the camera to do the focusing for you and uh, you can't really see uh, what camera is doing and how well it's focused on you so good autofocus is like a must so uh, which brings me to the last feature of your future video camera and uh, this feature is mainly for vloggers uh, a good flip out screen is a must again so uh, this is kind of unnecessary it, it doesn't need explaining uh, but uh, some cameras claim that they have a flip out screen like my Sony a6300 with which actually does not have a flip out screen so it kind of flips but I cannot really flip it 100% like 180 degrees so I can see my face so I had to buy this extra monitor so uh, just uh, look for a completely flippable screen in your camera for vlogs so these are the features uh, for the video camera that are really important for my opinion and uh, now I will give you my uh, three camera recommendations to consider so here we go. So for my recommendations today, I picked uh, three camera kits from B&H, and uh, everything, every just everything about those cameras, uh, links, everything will be down in the description below. So uh, my first recommendation is Canon EOS Rebel T6 with the 18 to 55 millimeter lens. Uh, really good, nice camera. Mm, really awesome camera for photography. Uh, Nikon D3400 with 18 to 55 millimeter lens. So again, a really nice camera for photography. And uh, the last one is Sony Alpha A5100 with 16 to 50 millimeter lens. Sony, I believe, is better for video, will be better for video. And uh, this exact model, A5100, will be perfect for vlogs because it has 100% flippable screen, which again, I've talked just about. So with the price tag of around $400, those cameras are not exactly the cheapest. But I think those cameras have <clears throat> the minimum amount of features that you will need to get started in photography and videography So any of those cameras will be a perfect start So I believe that's it for my video today. I think I hope I really hope that this video was at least somewhat helpful to you uh, to you beginners and uh, If you still do have uh, any questions, I will be glad to answer them down in the description below uh, otherwise uh, if you liked uh, leave a like and uh, subscribe for more videos. So thank you again for watching and uh, I will see you in my next video.